And welcome to Spotlight on a Bible Verse, where we take a few moments just to look at a particular verse of Scripture and see what truths are revealed therein. Look at this time in 1 Peter 4 and verse number 11. We want to put the spotlight on that verse where it says, If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. If any man minister, let him do it with the ability that God giveth, that God in all things may be glorified through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Whenever you look in 1 Peter 4 verse 11, it closely parallels Colossians 3 and verse 17. Colossians 3 17 says, For whatsoever we do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by Him. And 1 Peter 4 11 says very close to the same thing as he tells us that whatever whatever we say, whatever it is we speak, if any man speaks, speak as the oracles of God. The word oracles means the utterances of God. And so whatever God says, that's what we need to be saying. Well, how do we know what God says? We know what God has said when we spend time in His book. Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 4 says, Whereby when you read, you may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ. And so let's read God's Word so that we can speak as He wants us to speak. But 1 Peter 4.11 also says, If any man minister, the word minister there means serve or service. If any man's going to serve, be active, then let him do it with the ability which God giveth, that God in all things may be glorified through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Amen. And so, whatever we do here, minister, serving, whatever we do, let's do it to the glory of God. Let's do it where God will be praised, where God will be uh, the one where, who, to whom belongs our focus and our work. Much like what is said in Matthew chapter 5 and verse number 17 when he talks about, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Let's glorify the Father, have others glorify the Father as they see us doing what God wants us to do. Let's also speak as the oracles of God. Speak as God's utterances. And whenever I do that, that's going to take me back to the Bible. That's going to take me back to what God has revealed, what God has spoken so long ago. Folks, that's the key right there. If I'll do what the Lord has said to do, and I'll live in a way He tells me to live, I speak the things He wants me to speak through His Word. I'm going to be a blessed person, and I will bless the people around me. That's what it takes. That needs to be done in the pulpit. That needs to be done in the home. That needs to be done uh, within the church and out of the church. That needs to be done every day. Whether I'm on the job, uh, whether I'm at home, whether I'm driving my car, whether I'm at the store or by myself somewhere, wherever I may be, then let every man speak as the oracles of God. Let every man in, in in the service or the actions that we take Do that in a way that gives praise and glory to the God of heaven every day. That's a key right there. And folks, if we can get that down, if we can understand that, and I act upon 1 Peter 4, 11, you act upon 1 Peter 4, and verse 11, if we'll do that together, we can change this world. So, as we think about 1 Peter 4, 11, let's put the spotlight on that verse. Let's think seriously and soberly about what is being said there, and let's take it to heart and live it every day.